Hi, I'm Rejane. I work at the INSERM, Immunology Center of Marseille Lumini, and I'm here today to talk about the control of neuroinflammation by meningeal immunity. Over 20% of the population suffer from some kind of brain pathology, and even though this is growing, the treatments are very limited and do not penetrate the brain efficiently enough to make a difference. In fact, the meninges are understudied and mostly unknown. And we found we needed to find new ways to control neuroinflammation. That is why we started the study of the control of neuroinflammation by meningeal immunity. Control by neuroinflammation of neuroinflammation by meningeal immunity is a study that uh, aims at uh, unraveling the complexity and plasticity of the brain immune sentinels in order to under understand the development of the meningeal immune system. Manipulating those immune sentinels will help prevent autoimmunity, to prevent neuroinfection, prevent neuroaging, uh, and also to boost brain development. In order to uh, pursue these objectives, we used different tools. First, a transcranial drug delivery, which allows to deplete meningeal macrophages. Second, transgenic mouse models that allow to deplete and also manipulate meningeal immune subpopulation. Third, we use in vivo CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing. And lastly, we used uh, spectral cytometry and intravital imaging, as you can see here in these pictures. Behind these studies is myself, um, an expert in biology, immunology, and neuroscience, as well as a very rich collaborative network of clinicians, institutes of immunology and neuroscience, as well as biophysics teams. Our studies uh, so far have shown in animal models that meningeal immune sentinels can control brain inflammation in two different models. First, in autoimmunity, we found that NKP46 cells in the meninges, here in green, can form pathogenic clusters that then infiltrate and destroy the brain parenchyma. Depleting those cells, uh, as you can see here in white, can decrease the clinical score and decrease the pathology. Then we used another model of brain inflammation, which is neuroinfection. In this model, we found that meningeal macrophages and respond to CNS infection and are crucial in blocking neuroinvasion. These two models clearly show that what happens at the surface of the brain can deeply influence the inflammation of the brain itself. Our action plan from now on is to uh, go deeper into the study of uh, meningeal immunity using new tools with multiparametric analysis and to get a better knowledge of other diseases not only autoimmunity and infection, but also neurodegeneration, psychiatric disorders, and abnormal brain development. Overall, uh, I hope you can see that our new strategy that allows reinforcement and manipulation of meningeal immune sentinels has opened new doors for the treatment and prevention of brain disorders. <laughs>